click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the abnormal electronic configuration of the lanthanum gadolinium as well as lutetium. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the features of electronic configuration for lanthanides. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in this topic I am going to talk about the features of the electronic configuration for lanthanides. So for that we should understand that is how does the electron the configuration is basically done and why does the electron enters in the d orbital rather than entering in the 4f orbital so these are the some few cases that is what i'm going to talk about so all this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic that is features of electronic configuration for lanthanides but before that we should also understand the periodic table so now let us understand the periodic table so friends this is the periodic table that is what i'm going to talk about so since we are talking about the lanthanides so lanthanides are present in the sixth period and the third group and in that case we have also understood the electronic configuration for lanthanum but whenever we are talking about the electron filling we are filling it that is from left to right hand side and that's the reason that the electron the number of electron in increases by one unit so that's the reason that one electron would be increased here the second would be there is there will be another increase of one electron and there will be another increase of one electron so therefore this electron increase it will go that is from left to right and this is a gradual change that is what we observe but suppose if we talk about this s block element for example if i'm talking about barium so how we can write the electronic configuration of barium and how we can compare it with the other elements electronic configuration this is what i want to talk about so now let us understand the electronic configuration of barium first so talking about the electronic configuration of barium so barium is basically having an atomic number of 56 so therefore we could write the electronic configuration as xe 4f 0 5d 0 6s 2 in this case the last electron it enters in the s orbital that's the reason the barium is known as an s block element but suppose if i'm talking about the next element for example that is lanthanum which has an atomic number of 57 so on that basis we could write the electronic configuration as xe 4f 5d and this is 6s2 so being two electrons present in this six orbital that is the sixth shell at the s orbital so this electronic configuration is very much similar to that of barium but obviously we have understood that is from going from left to right that is across the period there is a change of atomic number by one and there is an increase of atomic number so therefore we should add the electron somewhere in the 4f or 5d but it has been found that is the electron it doesn't enters in the 4f orbital but it enters in the 5d orbital and this is the electronic configuration for lanthanum having no electrons in the f orbital so talking about the next one that is for example if i'm talking about cerium so that is nothing but the first member of the lanthanide series so suppose if i'm talking about cerium which has an atomic number of 58 so on that case we, we could get that is xe 4f 5d 6s2 so the electronic configuration that is what we are doing is we are adding the number of electrons so therefore the number of electron that we should add that is as already there is one electron in the d orbital so therefore we could write it here as 5d1 and for 4f there will be 4f1 so that's the reason that if we talk about in that manner or if we are filling the electrons in that manner we'll get to know that is this f orbital is having only one electron and the last electron it enters in the f orbital only but talking on this basis that is for lanthanum the last electron it enters in the d orbital so the last electron should enter in the d orbital that's by making the electronic configuration as 4f1 5d1 but it has been found that is while filling the electrons in the cerium that is for the lanthanum series the last electron it doesn't enters in the d orbital unlike that of lanthanum but the electron it enters in the 4f orbital thereby making the d orbital to be empty so here basically we can find the empty d orbital that is suppose if i'm talking about uh, lanthanum here so there is no empty orbital for d and all the elements which has empty d orbital except gadolinium and except lutetium so on that basis because of the stability that is it could acquire and based on that this have different electronic configuration and that is what we have got to know about the feature of the electronic configuration for lanthanides and that is it consists of that is empty d orbital only lanthanum 
as well as suppose if I'm talking about gadolinium and lutetium are those elements which have at least one electron in the d orbital and this is what I want to discuss about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood the features of the electronic configuration for lanthanoids and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.